hello and welcome back today we will be doing a artificial intelligence project it's gonna be about creating a chatbot a chatbot a chatbot a chatbot anyway today we will be creating a chatbot <laughs> using python so let's begin here we go so on the left side you can see my medium blog I will add the link below here you can see the blog and here we are seeing the Jupyter notebook you can read the article if you want to learn more about chatbots but for this video to keep things simple and basic I will directly go into programming so let's begin by step one creating user templates so first things first we will ask our chatbot to ask the user isn't that funny we are programming a chatbot to ask us our name that's funny but that's what it is so that's programming let's copy that let's paste it and we are here we are seeing the bot asking what do you want me to call you and we are getting an input this is a python function which will you will see in a second so here let's run this block here we go and as you can see what do you want me to call you here we are asking the user to enter their name or whatever they want to be called so i will add i will write my name there we go perfect so let's move on now we are creating the templates so here is the template our bot messages will show up as bot and their message and whenever we reply our name will appear and then whatever we write down so here we go and chat bot responses so step two we are gonna write the conversation in this step whatever we are expecting the user to ask and what we want our chatbot to reply okay let me copy this and i will explain what's happening over here first things first actually uh, what I was thinking to do earlier I'm gonna add this block on top of the templates because I wanted to add the bot name also within this templates this is our bot name okay so here you can enter a name for your bot or your bot <laughs> I mean for your bot okay enough with that bot joke <laughs> okay so be care you are renaming it and then how's the weather today well, it's cloudy how's the mod uh, happy okay so these are some uh, variables we are defining that we would like to use in our conversation let's run that let's rerun this so that it's updated perfect now we are going to copy that and what's happening over here let me explain so let's enter that how are you perfect okay looks much 
much better. So this is the question. And these are the responses. We are using dictionary method over here. So this is how we create a dictionary. We start by curly brackets and then we enter the X value and these are the Y values. So whenever the uh, program finds the question, so we will see it in the following steps. It's going to reply by one of these responses. So you can increase these questions by adding more of them. And you can also play around with these responses. So whatever you want to make, you can play around with the whole code. What is this? This is a function that helps us to pass these variables inside these strings. As you can see, our variable name was name and we are passing the name inside the string by using this format function. This is a really cool function. As you can see, you can even pass more than one variable by increasing like just adding that. And for your second variable, you can make it one. So zero takes the first and one takes the second variable. Okay, so we don't need that. So I'll just clean that over there and yeah. So as you can see, I've added a couple of questions and couple of responses. I didn't want to add just one because uh, we want our chat bot to respond different in each for for the same question so otherwise it's gonna repeat the same thing that we don't want to do so that's why I have added three responses for each question and then when replying it's gonna pick one randomly and reply that way anyway so let's move on step number three response function so here here we are creating a function as you know this is how we define a function and make sure the intendations are correct and here is the value that we want to the value or the parameter that we are passing inside the function and then this is uh, checking if the messages within the responses so as you, we created earlier, this is the responses. The bot picks up randomly a choice from one of these answers. So first it finds the question, it makes sure it's matching, and then it picks one of these responses. That's what's happening over here. If it's not within, if the question is not defined, it directly goes to the default which will return a default message so one thing one cool thing that I've added over here is an empty string so even when the user uh, replies with saying nothing just presses the enter key we still have a couple of responses hey are you there what do you mean by saying nothing sometimes saying nothing tells a lot so this kind of cool responses will make our program a little more colorful. Step number four, relation function. This is also something that I thought will add more coolness to our program. Let me explain. So let's say, oops, let's make sure that Intendation is correct. Okay, so let's say when you are having a conversation, you replied with a message that's not matching exactly this string. What's your name? Let's say you asked, you asked what your name or something, or you forget to add the question mark. So for those cases, 
otherwise it's not going to find the exact string so it's going to reply the default message so i don't want that to happen that's why i've added the related function so what this function does is it passes in the message that the user puts and then checks if one of these key terms are inside that message for example if there's name passing inside that string the question is gonna be what's your name so it's like predicting what's the user trying to ask for example if there's a weather string we are trying to guess like probably the user is asking about what's today's weather so this kind of little predictions are happening over here step number five send message function so what is this let me show you Make sure the intention are correct. Okay, so send message. So this is just gonna print out the conversation that we are having with the chatbot, and it's gonna put what we created earlier: the templates, the user's name, and the bot's name, and that's it. Perfect. We are almost there. Final step testing our program so let's see how it works I decided to go with while loop why because we can run an infinite loop with while loop and make sure you add this if statement because otherwise your program is gonna run infinitely many times so with this case if the user enters exit or stop the program is gonna stop we're adding this break line over here so that the loop ends over there what's inside this function I mean inside this loop is first the input that we are asking from the user and then we are lower casing that input and then we are calling the relation function that we created and this is how we are trying to guess the question and then finally we are responding to that message I mean not we the chatbot is responding all right so that's all for the program and let's run it all right so let's ask something let's say how are you oops sorry sorry i forgot something i forgot to add the random library which we used okay let's go back thought it was added but it's okay import random yes that's it so let's ask how are you let's say we forgot to add the question mark wow here is the predicted question how are you and the funny bot says happy how about you <laughs> isn't that cool and then let's say great and let's ask something how is the weather outside the weather is cloudy that's cool even though it's not the exact question that we added in the dictionary it still knows that we are asking the weather okay let me show you something cool weather and let's see if it's gonna respond with the same response it did but let's try again let's try again and see if it's gonna pick a random 
response weather today let me check it looks cloudy today isn't that cool that's cool and one cool thing as i mentioned earlier we can change the weather over here so we don't have to change the whole thing within the responses dictionary all you have to do is update this update those variables let's ask another question and let's ask about name of the bot what is your name they call me funny bot oh that's so funny <laughs> oh, oh you are so funny Okay, so this message wasn't found in the dictionary. That's why I thought we are not saying anything. And it replied, hey, are you there? As you can see, if we don't reply anything, this is the message we are getting. What do you mean by saying nothing? Sometimes saying nothing tells a lot. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's stop the program over here. Let's type in exit. And there we go. The program has stopped working all right so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this video and please feel free to reach me if you have any questions about programming or about implementing this program i will add my contact page below and yeah you can check my medium page there are many other python projects that i shared like face recognition chatbot python for art extracting audio from video and so on and i hope you are doing well and staying safe and i hope to see you in the next week's video until then happy programming. Bye. See you all.